And in my practice, you'll often, when you often talk to people on the street, you'll get the same thought. It's all circumstantial. It's not direct evidence. Um, circumstan it's circumstantial evidence doesn't mean anything. It's all circumstantial. Legally, the law long ago rejected any such distinction. This is the instruction given, for example, to a federal, uh, to a federal jury as to direct or circumstantial evidence. This is what you're, they're told. You've heard direct evidence, evidence directly proves a fact. Circumstantial evidence is evidence that indirectly proves a fact. And of course, that's a matter also of kind of opinion. Um, uh, it, depends, it depends how direct or how circumstantial. You are to consider both. The law does not say that one is better than the other. It's up to you to determine how much weight to give to any evidence, whether direct or circumstantial. This was also, at least in the Seventh Circuit, given as a definition of circumstantial evidence until recently. And this is a favorite argument of prosecutors and sometimes of defense counsel. An example of direct evidence is a rainy will be testimony said she saw it was raining. Example of circumstantial evidence is saw someone carrying an umbrella. Or snow is often used in this example. Um, you look out the window at night and see it snowing, that's direct evidence. You go to sleep, you wake up in the morning, you see on snow on the ground, that's circumstantial evidence. Probably snow during the night if you see snow on the ground. Now, it could have been that somebody carried some snow in from the North Pole and dropped it on your lawn. It's possible. But there's circumstantial evidence that, in fact, it did snow. 